What's up my dudes? Welcome to another of my completely planned videos that definitely follow a schedule. Nevertheless, I'm here, I'm queer, wait, wait, no, 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 that's not, no, that's not right. No, take that back. Today, I thought I'd talk about Fallout 4, you know, uh, how many years has it been since it come out? It's uh, been like, what, what, five years, that, that's quite the same, just I don't feel that long ago. But um, basically, with lockdown coming back again in Britain, because, you know, Britain is a fun place to live. I've been led to going back to games I haven't played in a while. Hence, me playing Fallout. There's definitely a divide in the Fallout community, leaning a bit more towards the negative side like, but it's hard to be better than your predecessors when they are like Fallout 3 and New Vegas. Like, that is a very unfair fight. It's like trying to say you're a YouTube legend that came after PewDiePie and KSI. With you being Morgs, quite a crude example, especially when, you know, Morgs makes the best content on YouTube. So, the reason I bring this up is because I wanted to see if there was any physical way to make the game more enjoyable. And I do believe there is a simple fix. Now, hear me out on this. Survival mode. That mode that you dare not touch because a super mutant clapped your arse cheeks when you were rocking into the CIT ruins with only long johns and a ghoul slayer's board. Then you'll be screaming and declaring that it's the hardest game ever, even though it's not. Once you get into survival mode, you will realise normal mode is a fucking godsend. But honestly, you will not play Fallout the same way as you did the first time, if you play in survival mode. I rocked out of the vault, got to the point where you fight the Deathclaw, and soon realised that this wasn't the same game it was before. I got bummed by that Deathclaw and he played with my ass like it was Monopoly. I died a few times to this Deathclaw because what you don't realise is that blow up flies can insta kill you early game. So a Deathclaw only has to breathe and you fall dead. So that starting mission is awful. <laughs> a bit further into the game and you realise that you're just playing DayZ but on steroids. You think cholera is easy as getting DayZ? Well, every time you want to save the game in survival mode you have to sleep. When you save in like a bed, so you, official beds you can sleep for any amount of time. A mattress, like a dirty mattress, like I think it's eight hours max. And then a sleeping bag's three hours. So you have to find a specific bed, so it has to be a settlement basically, or else it's going to be just a safe point and not enough sleep. Which I'll get onto in a minute. You also, after you sleep, hunger and thirst become really apparent. And it's not just something you can brush off, because it takes off half your stats. It can take off like 8 intelligence, 8 luck, it can take off endurance, it can take off anything it likes for certain amounts depending how hungry or thirsty you are. It is awful. Every time you use Radaways, you become extremely tired and very susceptible to illness, making progressive damage your worst nightmare. Blood bugs? I hate flying insects as it is. They are currently my worst nightmare. They fly, and if they hit you, you die. It's as simple as that. And if you survive, no doubt you'll be hit with parasites, which you'll feel like you want to die because they're just as bad as infections. What you need to take away from this is that you need to have a bit more intelligence in how you play Fallout 4 if you're in survival mode. You can't just run in. You need to think about saving, you need to think about weapons, negative stats, weight, even your positioning. That can mean a big difference if you get bummed by like 10 triggermen all at once to single filing, ready to be rape drained. It sure as hell is challenging and I've been sat doing the same thing three and a half hours recently because I only had a sawn off shotgun and I was at a low level, which doing missions where you kill lots of enemies, it's really pissing hard. If it wasn't for Diamond City Radio, I'd have broke down from my idiotic ideas and bad plays years ago. This survival mode definitely increases your playtime by a mile, that I can guarantee. You could complete the original Fallout 4 in normal mode in like, what, 10 hours, maybe even less than that? It's not, it's not that hard once you know what you're doing, but in survival mode you just can't. I, there probably is a way if you really want to speedrun it, but there's just too much to think about and too much to do. And it's just so hard with the damage you take. <laughs> your perks you really need to think about, and especially what you put your stats into. I've gone with full stealth character. It's working perfectly because sniper, snipers are just ridiculous. They are my best friend. But anyway, enough of rambling on. My recommendation to you is just try survival mode. I still believe this should have been a trophy. I think more people would have tried this then, and hopefully Fallout, if you try Fallout 76 Child, will... We'll get such a trophy, and we'll probably, what is it, next New Vegas it could be, it could be Fallout 5, for all we know, it could be anything. So, hopefully we'll get some banging gameplay from a harder game, and hopefully a survival mode trophy, which will ultimately make this actually worth doing. Now, I've got a few more videos lined up for y'all. Fitting it in with university is hard, and, you know, with me getting a job as well. Ooh, feel bad for me. But, um, you know, that's not stopping me from uploading. 
especially content that you guys will obviously enjoy, aside from that one Johnny Sins video I did, where nobody was really happy with that, but that's fair enough, because I didn't realise up until I started getting views out of it, I'm like, why is everybody watching this? It's like, ah, that title could be misconstrued. <laughs> so I did end up changing that title round, so hopefully, you know, we could sort of sort that out. And, you know, to be fair, everybody who is watching right now that has commented before or left likes or anything, I really do appreciate it. If you can like and subscribe on this video as well, brilliant. I do realise there's only a very minuscule percentage that are actually subscribed who are watching, so if you can subscribe, that'd be absolutely brilliant. But, um, yeah. It's been great doing these YouTube videos of recent. It's been quite fun. Get people commenting, you know. If we get a debate on Fallout 4 down in the comments, that'd be brilliant. That's... That made my day. Just reading it all and being part of debates is just... It's fun. Surely you can all understand that. You're here to watch me bloody ramble on about Fallout 4 and... Fucking... <laughs> getting analed by Death Claws who want my bum for fun. So, anyway. Uh, thanks for watching today's video, dudes and dudettes. And I will see y'all in the next. Ciao, me amigos.